Uh, our panel session this afternoon is, is meant to define the future and talk about the future of InSpace servicing assembly and manufacturing, um, in essence to talk also about sustainable and reliable assets, which is sort of very exciting. We've got a really good panel this afternoon for you guys. Um, I'll, I'll do a quick kickoff for what, where I'm coming from, uh, but then we're going to introduce um, our lead, Russ Elliott, who is the director of programs for Redwire Space. Um, Ina Uaroa, close enough. Uh, the, she's a strategy director for SAB Aerospace. Um, sitting next to her is Andrew, Andrew, no, it was Andrew uh, Faoli, uh, the commercial director for Astroscale. Um, and then on the end, at least, uh, Virgil Gautier, who's the founder of the International uh, Consensus Around Standards of Interfaces, or IK, ICASI, who's also the, uh, the director of flight ops for a German company. So we actually have a really good set of panels, uh, set of folks here for the panel this afternoon. Uh, what we'll do is, very quick introduction, we all have just a single slide, uh, again, trying to get to discussions between ourselves uh, that we can engage with the audience. So. Hello, my name is Zeno Varva, and I'm a strategy director for SAP uh, Aerospace, and uh, we are the group of companies here. I'm also presenting SAP Launch Services, uh, our sister company, and uh, we are developing uh, basically the, the vehicle, uh, which evolved from uh, our product for Viga, for the dispenser, SSMS dispenser for launching multiple smaller satellites. Uh, and uh, its evolution uh, taking advantage being a part of the launcher to decrease the cost of in-orbit servicing and uh, to be already, let's say, in the value chain of uh, in-orbit transportation. So we take a part of the dispenser and we can equip it with a different type of uh, propulsion, robotic arms, uh, uh, some interfaces, and after the deployment of the primary passengers, uh, we can act as a separate uh, in-orbit servicing vehicle. Uh, the SEC applications are uh, really many. I would say that uh, depending on the time, uh, some of them will be active earlier, some of them uh, will be active later. I think it will be also a topic for, for discussion today. Uh, also, our uh, option for collaboration to expand the capabilities of uh, space rider uh, is to basically have uh, uh, cooperation between ISX and the uh, space rider vehicle which is also European asset and uh, we are able to do much more uh, with the vehicle which can uh, come into orbit and can return uh, multiple times. So this is uh, our vision that uh, we are uh, implementing together with the different partners who are developing the technical propulsion, robotic technologies, and so on. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew. 